It's dark and wet, a perfect night to look for frogs and salamanders on the move. As the snow has left and the rain has worked its way down, um, and when we have a temperature above freezing, then their spring migration is to move down to the breeding site. The Otter Creek Audubon Society and biologist Jim Andrews have organized these volunteers to count the salamanders and frogs and get them safely across the road. But Andrews' ultimate goal is to get more people familiar with Vermont's amphibians to help protect them. I really encourage people, once they've been here a couple times, to go out and find another crossing site because we need to know where they are. First-timer Carol Ramsayer has been taking a class with Andrews and studied up on her amphibians before coming out. The uh, salamander migration is, is, is something that I had no idea even existed, so the more I found out about it, the more I wanted to see how it works. The way it works, these salamanders and frogs come out of the woodlands and head to ponds or swamps to breed and lay their eggs. Once they're done, it's back to the woods. Here in Salisbury, the amphibians have to cross Morgan Road to get to where they want to go. All right, so I found my find of the evening, which is the yellow-spotted salamander. Projects like this are called citizen science projects, where people, just like me, are put to use to help gather data. And that's what all these folks are doing out here tonight. The volunteers record the species and number of amphibians they find, dead or alive, and number of cars that pass through. All the information goes to the state's reptile and amphibian atlas compiled by Andrews. For Echo and News Channel 5, I'm conservation correspondent Bridget Butler.